I'm Cousin Condry, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Let's find a way in to get back to the creek. We got a little bit of current here, but not too much. So I think I'm going to put on a couple of small split shots, but I can't put too much weight on or it'll just get stuck on the bottom. And I got some red worms here. This is Wormville Reds brand. We're gonna start out with half a worm and see how that does. I'm going to thread it onto this size 6 Aberdeen. Let's get over here so we can toss it out into the current and let it drift downstream and see if we can get a bite. That might have been a bite already. I don't know. Holy cow. <laughs> I totally had one. Got a little shiner here. First fish of the day. Common shiner. I yanked him out of the water. I think I had him when I set the hook the first time and I didn't know and I felt him again and I set the hook, yanked him out of the water. <laughs> Let's try again. There's a fish. I think, oh, he came off. I think it was another shiner. So in this creek we have shiners, stone rollers, I think chubs, and right now stocked trout. There's a fish. I think it's another shiner. Yep, another common shiner. Yeah, we've got about a three and a half, four inch shiner here. Hungry little guy. This is Retro from Retro Bassin, but you are watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. There we go, fish on. I think it's another shiner. I'm hoping, mixed in with these shiners, we can find a trout. I might have to switch baits. Maybe go with an egg or a little round bait to get a trout. We're gonna keep going though, you never know. Another little shiner. Another shiner, so shiner after shiner down here. All I have is a little tiny piece of worm left. A lot of shiners down there. Let's get up here on dry land and work our way upstream.
the most controversial team to hit USWO Wrestling. It's Brian Turner of Booty Call, and you are watching Realistic Fishing. Bounce on over to Brian Turner's VHS Rehab for more of Booty Call. So yeah, getting a little bit crowded right there. There were two guys within, I don't know, 50 feet of me. So we're going back this way. It's not like there are any fish though. So who cares, right? That's where I was. This is where I am. Here we are, let's try back over here at this spot. Alright, we're probably going to get a bunch of shiners over here, but it's better than nothing. So far, I can't get a bite from a trout. Shiner bite. Oh, came right back at me when I set the hook. Getting a couple nibbles over here, but it's pretty much all shiners. There's a, oh, had something for a moment. Thought it was a shiner. Felt a little bit bigger, maybe. I don't know. Fish on. Another little shiner. Just a little guy. That's pretty much all I'm catching out here today at Don Fox. This is Seth from Gullitsville, Tennessee. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Fish on, another shiner. Pretty nice one. Big or small, realistic fishing will try to catch them all. Well, I was hoping to come out here and get lucky and find a trout today, but I have a feeling they're pretty much fished out. A guy came up to me, asked me if I ever fished here, asked me how the trout fishing is. Well, it's really, really slow over here at Don Fox. I'm out here maybe a week after the stocking and I suspect they are already fished out. That's how crazy people get about stocked trout over here. So while I didn't get any trout, I got a handful of shiners and I'm happy with that. This is realistic fishing and whatever happens, I'm going to show you. One more cast.
even on the worm, the bite is slowing down. I have a feeling I caught most of the big shiners out of here. Well, that's it for today's trip over here to Don Fox. I did not catch any trout. And like I said earlier, they're probably fished out because the people around here are rabid about stocked trout. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.